Hey y'all, this is the start of Wellness 13. How you doing? Hey guys, so I want to show y'all these little gifts they put out. This little dice. Um, what else? They have that. Um, let's make some cinnamon rolls. Sweet butter. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees and don't mind the pan it's clean. So mind your business. Hey y'all, so this is the oven calendar kind of thing I was talking about. So these are um all the things we already opened already. Um and then these are the days we got left. So my mom did 13 last night, and then I'm gonna do 14. Um, when it hit 12 o'clock, we had it set up like a Christmas tree or whatever, but I just went on took the cups off, you know. But yeah, I just didn't want to tell y'all about that since I had mentioned it in my um other video. Gift for day 14. So yeah, the cinnamon rolls are done. They look good. I put the icing on there. So, like I said, I'm gonna upload this video. It might be a little late, but like I said, I was at work. So, I even had time to record. But, I at least make some cinnamon Our living room Christmas decor. Um, so I haven't posted 13 yet, um, but I just decided I would post them together, so it's going to be 13 and 14, um, so yeah, but today's video, I'm going to be telling y'all my favorite Christmas, like literally, like some of these Christmas, they be okay, but like, no. All right, so this camera, ignore any noise in the background. Hoobie, that like on my top list is literally Home Alone. Like y'all, I love Home Alone, like I promise you. I can watch that movie like 10 plus times. I love Home Alone, like it never get old. Like it's funny, it's like, it's a really good movie. I really love it. Oh boy, that's it, you little, you little s- Oh, not this time, you little rat. Ah, ha, ah, ah. ha. You little creepy, where are you? Oh, oh, oh. 
Since we're in a hurry, I'll make a deal with you. You throw down your camera, and we won't hurt you. You'll never hear from us again. Okay? You promise? I cross my heart and hope to die. Okay. Okay, kid. Give it to me. How many fingers am I holding up, Marv? Uh, eight. Okay, kid. You want to throw bricks? Let's Go ahead, throw another one. one. If you can't do any better than that, kid, you're gonna lose. Come on, Marv, get up. You don't have any more bricks. He's out of them. Um, what? <laughs> what? Let me get back up. Wow. Let me get back up. <laughs> that did it. Nobody throws bricks at me and gets away with it. Come on, Marv, get up. You go this way, I'm going around the back. favorite Christmas movie. Like, I love Home Alone. I love, um, the first one, second one, the first one, and then the new girl one. My second favorite movie, Polar Express. I love Polar Express. Like, I really, I love that movie since I was a child. Like, I feel like this, like, the dream, another dream movie that I love. Like, it's, it's good. They, I mean, how they made it is just so creative. On Christmas Eve many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound, a sound I was afraid I'd never hear.
Well, you coming? Where? Why, to the North Pole, of course. This is the Polar Express! Yeah, I can watch that one over and over too. Three. One Christmas Eve, Santa Claus got an unexpected gift of his own. <laughs> what in the name of Sam Hill? Thirty years later. Let's recite the code of the elves, shall we? The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Buddy's discovering who he really is. You're not like the rest of us. I was sure when you cracked six feet that it would come up. My bad. You're not an elf. He's taking a journey to find the family he's never known in a place where he finally fits in. Boy. And nothing's going to stop him. Sorry, your car's pretty. What's your name? Does someone need a hug? Nutcracker! <laughs> All right, so my fourth favorite Christmas movie. Um... Yes, see. Oh. Uh, the Grinch. Yes. I love the Grinch. Um. So, yeah. I really love the Grinch. In a place where the Christmas spirit is everywhere. Have the best Christmas ever! Well, almost everywhere. Counting down the Christmas clock. Oh, young. Blast this Christmas music! It's joyful and triumphant. Jim Carrey is the, 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 the Grinch. I must stop this Christmas from coming. What would I wear? Oh, forgot about the reindeer. Action! some yuletide doubts. Don't care. Maybe if you can reunite with the Who's and be a part of Christmas. Maybe if you can reunite with the Who's and be a part of Christmas. Grow up! Um, the holiday um, calendar. This is also on Netflix. It's a very good movie. Um, basically, she got this calendar. I'm going to see her grandma calendar. calendar and I think her Grandma end up like passing away or something, and then they end up uh, passing her, passing the calendar down to her and told her that she could keep it, and basically like every um like she thought the calendar she just thought it was just something that you know that the grandma just you know keeping for like memory reasons or whatever, but actually that the um the calendar and like up so on the first day of christmas she noticed that the calendar at light up or whatever and she like okay that's weird and then the door for number one open and then it had like little mini um like little mini little item items in it like the first one had like a christmas tree in it or whatever so like when she went out, uh, Christmas tree ended up falling on her car and all that. Like, it was just, like, so funny because everything that was in that calendar was basically, you know, happening in her life. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say because I didn't want to spoil it too much. But like I say, watch it. It's really, really good. <laughs> You. Pair of boots. The calendar gave me boots. It's crazy, right? Clearly the calendar's magic. Clearly. Free toy. And then the car ran over a Christmas tree. 
It's my fault the guy at the tree farm recommended bungee cords, not twine. Yeah, well, there's a reason why twine jumping never caught. <laughs> Gramps, that calendar is just a calendar, right? Abby, we need a photographer for the Nutcracker play, and they want you. Um, in the other movie called Christmas with the Clarks, basically the movie's about they say they wasn't sell they wasn't decorating for Christmas. Um, basically they said they wasn't. Uh, putting on no Christmas tree, they wasn't decorating their house for Christmas, but their whole neighborhood, you know, they had a tradition of decorating and then like having like um, house competitions on who house look look the best. So the man he came in their house, you know, ready for them to buy a little annual Christmas tree, and they did not buy one. And they told the man that they wasn't sell, they wasn't decorating for Christmas. In the whole neighborhood and the finding out like <laughs> it was just a mess. In this friendly little town, there lived an enchanting family named the Cranks. Every year, they would celebrate Christmas together. Merry Christmas! Until the year their daughter Blair left for the holidays. This won't be the same. Then, Luther got a brilliant idea. We skip Christmas. We'll go bask in the Caribbean sun. We skip Christmas? What's up? No Christmas Eve party? Run away from Christmas, huh? A lot of the neighbors are pretty upset. Five months, two weeks, on five months. They do not get frosty. Nora, stop the car. Talk to me, Nora. Please. Mom, Dad, I changed my mind and I'm coming home for Christmas. What? Skipping Christmas. We have only 12 hours, so we're going to perform a little Christmas miracle. I'm getting the ham. You get the tree. Tim Allen. Your face.